Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is coconut crumble. And normally I'm not a big huge fan of coconut, but I really like the coconut crumble coffee. It's really good. And that I got in a big pack from Ollie's. Um, I forget the brand of coffee that it is. Um, but anyway, I like the coconut crumble the best. It's from Donut Cafe. They have they sell big boxes of Donut Cafe with various different flavors in it, like pecan pie, coconut crumble, toasted hazelnut, um, salted caramel. I think those are the flavors that they have. <clears throat> I may be forgetting one. But anyway, uh, the whole box, and I think there's 24 in there. I'm not sure. Could be 18. But anyway, the whole box is around $20. So I like getting that coffee from Molly's. I think it's really good. So today is going to be 60 degrees. It's supposed to be cloudy, but it doesn't look terribly cloudy. It's still early. So I may have to go outside and do a little bit more cleaning up. I have a little bit more to go. Um, and I really would like to get that done before spring. I have to put away my hose, turn the water off. Um, what else? I have a couple buckets I need to clean up, and I'm sure I can find some garbage to throw away. So anyway, let's have a sip of the coffee. Cheers. Ah, yes, very good. So yeah, it's not raining, it's not wet out there. I think it'll be a decent day. The thing is, this time of the year, it's really cold in the mornings. So by the time the weather warms up, it's already later in the afternoon. So maybe I can get a couple things done in here this morning, but I have to pace myself throughout the day. Otherwise, by afternoon, my back's pretty well shot. So, um, sometimes starting work in the afternoon isn't the best plan. But anyway, we have to do what we can do. So, I think I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee, and then I will meet you at the budget book, and we'll have a little chat about that. All right, here we are back at the budget book. So yesterday I didn't spend any money. I was out and about with that uh, leg um, ultrasound that I needed to get. And I almost stopped at Aldi's and picked up some avocados. But I really wasn't in the mood. And not only that... Um, I don't need any avocados yet. I do want to get some before um, the sale is off. So, uh, the next few days I'll go get some avocados and see what else they have on sale. If, they, if they're running their um, special buys that they said they were going to on holiday items, then I may stock up a few things. But I'm going to keep this a fairly low shop um, just because there's not a whole lot that I need right now. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I did not stop. Normally when I'm out and about like that, I always used to stop at the store. And I mean always. Um, if I was driving by a store, I wanted to go in it. Now, I'm talking about stores like Mark's, Ollie's, uh, Aldi's, 
I, I'm not talking about shopping at, you know, Kohl's or, or Target or anywhere like that. I rarely, rarely go to those stores. And um, I never have been much of a, um, a mall shopper. I did used to shop at, at Kohl's because they always had good buys, and then you could get the Kohl's cash, which was always a good deal. Especially around the holidays, I used to shop there, but I haven't done that in years. So slowly, I weaned myself off of being a chronic uh, shopaholic, because I'll be the first to admit I was a shopaholic, but I'm not anymore. It's like... Uh, a reformed smoker or, you know, a, a reformed alcoholic. Um, you become, sometimes you become a, a warrior for not doing those things because you realize the damage that it's done in your life. Now, being a shopaholic, uh, that'll damage your, your bank book more than anything else. And also, the negative part of that is you fill up your house with a lot of stuff that um, you just never use. So for most shopaholics, the thrill is in the hunt. And um, I liked to find bargains. That was my big thing. Um, I love to bargain shop. I wouldn't go out and buy, you know, $200 shoes or a $100 dress. or uh, I never, never did those things. But um, I know a lot of people that love to shop do that, and, you know, it's what you do. So, but I was always the bargain hunter. So I used to love to go into Mark's, and, and they always had some really, really good deals. Not so much anymore. Mark's prices have really gone up. So I just go there to buy my groceries, and I'll look in the, in the I call it the junk aisle, and sometimes I still find a really good buy. But I used to get some fabulous buys at Mark's. And it was actually useful stuff that I still use to this day. But anyway, um, I have a whole video on um, how, to, um, how to beat being a shopaholic and what I did to overcome that affliction, <laughs> for lack of a better term, and um, embrace a different lifestyle. Now, that doesn't mean you have to become, you know, a tightwad or so frugal that you never buy anything. You know, it doesn't mean that at all. But, you know, going to a reasonable amount of spending money. And this economy just makes it easier for me not to shop. Because I refuse, like I said, I'm a bargain shopper. And I just don't want to pay top price for anything. Uh, that's why I waited so long to buy my microwave, because uh, it was $200 off. You know, I didn't want to spend $700 on a microwave. So I waited, and, and sometimes patience is what helps you out in that situation when it comes to to good buys. So anyway, that's my little take on, on shopping and trying not to be a shopaholic, avoiding my trigger stores, not going in there all the time, you know, not going into Marks or Walmart once or twice a week, um, not doing that maybe once a month, and then the damage you do isn't, isn't as bad. Now, sometimes if I get the urge, I don't really get the urge to just go out and spend money, though, anymore. With my organizing and purging going on simultaneously, um, it, it just makes it easy for me not to do that. So, anyway, those were some of the strategies that I used to stop my chronic shopping. And I think I did it for entertainment. That's all I have to say. It's like, oh, let's go see what we can find. You know, it wasn't always I went out to find a certain item. It was, oh, let's just go in here and see what they have. And like I said, I really did find some awesome 
bargains that I still use to this day. But I have enough. I have everything that I need in my house, and I like it that way. I don't want to go out and have to buy a screw or, or some, you know, whatever. Um, I like the tchotchkes that I have right now. Um, so I don't want to get rid of those because I enjoy them. I don't feel like I need anything new. Um, anything new that I'm adding to the house is stuff that I needed or to make like the kitchen drawer pulls. I've been thinking about those for a long time. And when I found the ones that I liked at the price that I like, I went ahead and bought them. So little improvements is good, but you know, I don't have to redecorate my whole house. What I have still works just fine. It looks decent. Um, I'm figuring out storage areas that makes things easy for me to get to so that I can use them. So all these things have been working really well for me. So if you have other um, ideas, leave them in the comments below. Some of the things you did maybe to stop shopping so much or to organize your house. Um, I like bins and cubbies and I don't mind if they're visible. But I like, th I like things tucked away in bins and cubbies. So anyway, that's my take on this shopping business. So I think I'm going to stay home today. Um, next Monday I have an appointment to get my leg fixed. I hope it gets fixed. So next week I'm going to be very busy. Tuesday, the handyman is coming. Yay! So, and Thursday, I have to have a follow-up for the leg. So, I'm going to be going out more next week. So, I'll probably, at one point, when I'm out and about, um, stop at um, Aldi's anyway. And maybe Mark's and pick up my list of things that I've been keeping. Um, and the list isn't that long. So... All right. Well, I'll be back in a little bit. Are we waiting for a treat? Okay, Mama, get you a treat. Oh, I know you guys have already had one. All right, Mama, go get one. All right, let's go get a treat. Come on. Let's go, puppies. Let's get a treat. Let's get one. Let's get a treat. All right, everybody sit. Oh, oh, okay. I know you're too excited. Easy. Oh, there we go. Yummy. That's the second treat already this morning, right? Little Lizzie's over there, so you don't eat hers. Uh oh. Yummy. Was that good? All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. See out there. Oh, something's very exciting. What do you see out there? Let's look. Make your home cozy for the long coming up days in the winter months when it's cold outside Make your home warm inside.
day two. 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Candy Paul. Well, good morning. I thought I'd share my coffee with you guys this morning. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about simplifying. 101 Ways. So yesterday we learned about asking God for guidance, saying prayers in the morning, and asking for guidance on how you can spend your day to be the most productive, the most helpful to other people. So today's <clears throat> um, reading from the book and I don't think I'm going to read it verbatim because I don't want to infringe on any copyright um, things. So I'll just read it and give you a Reader's Digest version of it. <clears throat> so today, to simplify, honor simple truths. And it says to take the time to enjoy a conversation with someone that you admire. Um, ask what simple truths have guided him or her through life. So that's always a good thing to ask other people that have a simple life that you want to emulate. Um, maybe their home is the way you'd like your home to be. Maybe their lifestyle is more of how you would like your lifestyle to be. Surround yourself with people like that and take advice from those people. Don't take advice from people that don't have similar ideas from yours. You can listen to their ideas and then form your own judgment. That is my take, not from the book. So. This is Psalm 119, and it says, The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. So it goes on to say that when you were a child, you were taught to say thank you. You were taught to share your toys, to be kind to others and trust God to take frequent naps and be content with what you have. So those are the lessons for today. And it applies to no matter how sophisticated your life is in the adult world, give thanks to God for the blessings you have received Share your wealth with others, and you'll have true riches, it says. It also says to lend others a helping hand, to create a warm-hearted community, and do what's right and follow God's ways. Get enough rest, savor what you have in the moment, and honor the simple truths, and you will be blessed. So that's the lesson for today, and it makes a lot of sense to me. And I know some of these readings are spiritually based, and I think we could all use a little bit more spirituality in our lives. I'm not talking about religion and going to church on Sundays and atoning for your sins once a week. I'm talking about a daily ritual of communing with your God, whatever that may be. Whether it's the Lord in Christianity, it, it's Christ and God, or whatever other practice you have 
whether that's Buddhism, um, whether you follow uh, the Muslim tradition or the traditions of the East, whatever. The universe, some people worship the universe and that's whatever. You know, do your own thing and don't force your beliefs on other people because we see how badly that turns out with what's going on in the world today. You don't want to be a part of that. So be tolerant of other people. If they ask you, you can share your beliefs and that's fine. But too many people get angry if somebody doesn't have the same beliefs that they have and they only they have tunnel vision they can only see as far as what's in front of their face the universe is vast so vast we can't even comprehend it with so many ideas and so many things and so many beliefs it it's endless it's truly endless and goes on to infinity so don't put yourself in a box and believe what makes sense to you and don't argue about it let other people do what it what it is they're going to do and leave each other alone stop forcing people to believe what you believe it doesn't work they're just not going to get on board with that and that's the way it should be so, all right, that's my little talk on simplicity today. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, ask for guidance and follow that guidance. So, all right, I'm going to start my day and I'll be back. Here is the last of the harvest green tomatoes, little tiny eggplants, a whole bucket full of onions, rosemary. I still have some herbs I need to cut down, but just finishing up here in the garden and I will be very happy when this is all done. All right, I harvested a few more things here, some rosemary, some lemongrass, green tomatoes. I still have some chard, some perpetual spinach, and some, um, yep, a kale. So I still have those that I can still harvest and it's not going to freeze the rest of the week so I'll harvest those tomorrow. And I pulled out all the tomatoes and all the, the dead marigolds. So I still have some celery here that's still viable. That and that so I'll harvest that before the hard freeze comes. I still have some uh, mint over there, some sage over there, and then I still have some cauliflower greens that I could probably harvest. So pretty much the garden is all done, um, and I have a big huge pile of waste here that is going into the woods. So I'm going to call it a day, and uh, hopefully I can get this all done before the snow comes again. All right. Okay, well, that was a longish day, so I have all this stuff that I have to do something with now, but not tonight. I'll wait till tomorrow. And uh, I had a busy day, and I got quite a bit done. Um, got the garden pretty much cleaned up. Uh, there's still a few things that I want to harvest this week, but I can't get it all done at one time anyway, so I might as well just leave it there until I get the chance to um, finish it up. So anyway... Um, that's really all I have for you today, my friends. 
I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Thanks for watching.